Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another full review. In today's video, we have the Mazda CX-30. Big thanks to Auto Arbana's Mazda dealership here in Zagreb County for making this video possible. I will put all their info in the description below. Welcome back everybody. Like I said in the very beginning in today's full review, as you can see from a license plate Mazda CX-30 and from all the um, models that I reviewed uh, here at the Mazda dealership uh, recently this particular model I haven't already so I'm very excited about it uh, if you want to test this particular model or you are interested in uh, Mazda CX-30 this uh, model is demo vehicle so you can come here at the Auto Arbanas and give it a try this model is uh, powered by a 2 liter petrol engine mild uh, hybrid technology and uh, made it to a six-speed uh, manual transmission you can of course uh, go for a, a six-speed automatic we'll go through all exterior and interior details we will check of course the practicality test i have a key with me so we will turn the car on at the very end check the lights and of course the infotainment system but now let's go and start this uh, review with the exterior walk around starting here at the front end uh, design and details you can clearly see that aggressive approach that Mazda made with this uh, family friendly uh, crossover SUV you will see at the very end we have LED lights uh, on this Mazda CX-30 and huge uh, grille design with that luxurious uh, chrome detail and in the center a big Mazda logo with all the safety sensors in it in the lowest section on a bonnet there is a plastic protective part and you will see now as we move on a driver's side profile more of that uh, protective and robust plastic so if you want to go a little bit of off-roading you can this will prevent your uh, paint get damaged word or two about the wheels and tires these are 18 inch uh, standard Mazda wheels on winter tires because it is December here in Croatia so red uh, exterior on this uh, particular model similar like you can now see on a three sedan and CX-5 over there gloss black B pillars with uh, tinted rear windows always something uh, great and handy solution in the summer months and similar like we saw on a grill design chrome details as you go further in the back uh, on a last three quarters uh, on a driver's side there is a few filler cap similar like on a most Japanese cars and now let's take a look at the rear end you will see at the very end of a video full LED technology with really interesting uh, turn signal design on this particular Mazda CX-30 badge and all-wheel drive on a driver's side with eSky Active G like I said uh, on a very beginning this one is mild hybrid with a 2 liter uh, powertrain uh, above the Mazda license plate uh, here is a rear parking camera with a 2 really big and real uh, exhaust addition to the rear parking camera you also have a rear parking sensors on a bonnet just a quick walk around on a passenger side maybe this is the good time to see this uh, interesting uh, design uh, detail of a rear lights on this uh, cx30 let me know in the comment section what you think about this exterior color would you maybe go for for some uh, other uh, exterior color or would you choose uh, this particular sole red now we'll check the practicality test because this is a uh, family uh, crossover suv and we will start with the boot space 430 liters of boot space you get uh, with this Mazda CX-30 on a driver's side there is a LED light and you can fold down these rear seats uh, 60 40 the great uh, thing also is that this is a flat floor so you can easily slide some let's say heavier uh, items also this uh, opening is pretty wide I would say so I don't think some heavier uh, some larger items should be an issue and there are some practical and useful features like this like this floor which you can move about now we'll close this boot and we will check the rear seats welcome to a rear seats of a cx30 but take a look how wide this door opening angle is something similar that i saw already on a mazda cx5 and a new mazda cx60 if you want to check that videos i will put the link in the description below uh, this is something very useful uh, something that 
most of the families will appreciate a lot. I said at the very beginning that uh, this particular model has some really uh, luxurious and premium details. We will talk now a little bit uh, about those details. Uh, the door design and materials we will check when I go and sit on a passenger front seat. But for now, let's talk a little bit about this uh, rear seats or a rear bench. We have perforated leather in this center part and here at the back with a leather armrest with two cup holders. Welcome from a rear seat. I've put this driver's seat on my ideal uh, driving position. I'm about 184 centimeters. This is my uh, door opening angle and this is my knee room and my foot room and for my head I have a couple of centimeters to spare. Two LED lights here in the back and as I said earlier you have this uh, center armrest and isofix anchor points. Overall if you need to carry let's say two adults of my size there will be no problem but probably mostly uh, you will uh, carry kids here in the back so there will be any issues. For now let's go and check the passenger front seat. Let's talk now a little bit about these front doors design and materials. Even here at the top you have some type of soft rubbery material with really uh, interesting design detail and light grey stitching. Under that there is a Bose premium surround system uh, detail with some really uh, premium leather. Just take a look how soft this center part is where you will put your elbow with that contrasting let's say some dark gray or uh, black leather with some uh, brownish uh, details. In the door pockets you can easily put let's say maybe two half a liter bottles and nice detail uh, these rubber floor mats ideal for the winter months just a sneak peek of the interior similar like in the back we have nice leather seats with perforated center parts let's talk a little bit about this uh, center dash design because similar like on a doors we have a contrasting uh, brown and dark gray or a uh, black details with uh, this lowest section real metal and some type of a chrome effect with uh, big air vents. For the uh, information about the center infotainment system and uh, digital dice, I will talk a little bit more when I go and sit on a driver's side. Some useful uh, storage over here with uh, two cup holders, six speed manual in this particular model, like I said earlier. Uh, this is your wheel for the center infotainment system and electronically operated parking brake. Underneath this center armrest, you have even larger storage you need to just slide it a little bit further in the back and then you can open it with two usb charging here at the driver's side one or actually another a premium detail you have electronically operated uh, driver seat and again you can see that bose lettering and this is your I will put the driver's seat a little bit further in the back so you can have greater field of view and maybe I will put this visor on so we don't have much sunlight. So this is your uh, classic Mazda steering wheel, a very small airbag, absolutely stunning, phenomenal uh, design with all these buttons are physical buttons so I don't think there will be any problems uh, to use it. Also these uh, dials over here are partly uh, analog and digital you will see now when I start the car and this is the center infotainment system which you can operate uh, through this uh, wheel over here. So I put the car on and now you can see dials in action but let's talk a little bit more about this uh, center infotainment system which is actually on your ideal position when you wanna uh, use it and also uh, you can do it with this uh, wheel over here. Now there are some uh, main shortcuts like navigation. Let's just quickly check. Yeah, this particular model has it. And uh, it's a very easy uh, infotainment system to use because there, are, there, there aren't actually uh, so many uh, things to choose and to play about, which is actually great because many of those uh, things are actually distracting. So this is a perfectly fine uh, infotainment system you have all the uh, bells and whistles you have the navigation you have your radio media you can of course connect your phone and being or actually having those Bose premium surround system the overall 
experience would be great. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this uh, interior of a Mazda CX-30. Do you like it? Would you maybe change something? Would you go maybe for a fabric uh, seats and save some money or would you upgrade and choose this leather one? Now I'll put the lights on and the hazard lights on. You can see now in action. Like I said earlier, this is some really interesting and cool design of a turn signals, some type of a fading effect and similar here on a side mirrors and in the lowest part on a bumper with LED headlights. So this is the end of my full review this uh, Mazda CX-30. Uh, big thanks to Auto Arbanas Mazda dealership here in Zagreb County for making this video possible. I will put all their info in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video and wish you all a very nice day.